Welcome back to Dobrik Cars, where fast is a lifestyle. We're here waiting for Darius, the fourth brother, to show up. Apparently, he has a new car. We don't know what he did with his other car. It's getting crazy here, guys. New cars keep coming into our inventory. So what car do you think that I got? Let me guess. I'm gonna say an Audi R8. I think he's waiting for his Lambo Rivelto to come in. Yeah, I think he did get a supercar. I don't think he could have waited another year, honestly, in my opinion. There was one point that he was thinking about the MC20, the Maserati. That would've been a different approach to the lineup. We've never had a Maserati in the car lineup, so the cars that he has are hard to replace. Yeah. Right, the X5M Competition, the Lambo that's coming in. Uh, I don't know, honestly, I have no idea. I make sure you guys like this video and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching us all the time. And I'm so happy that Porsche is back. We already put it up to a race in our last video. So I'm happy everything is good with the Porsche. Thank Marcus. you, bro, thank you. Oh, yeah. right. So now we're waiting until he pulls up. For those of you guys that don't know what cars are coming in, we got the GT3 RS and the Euros Performante coming in. We got the Porsche Songway coming in. And then we got the 750S coming in. Oh, yeah. We also got the Lamborghini Rivalto coming in. So yeah. those are gonna come in like in a two year span. span yeah. yeah, so we're gonna be racing on this channel. So make sure you guys stay tuned. All right, let's wait until Darius pulls up. Yeah, this is the best part. Just hearing what beast on the road is about to pull up in the distance. That's one thing I love about your house, guys. It's just like, you can hear the echoes of the engines. And I think I hear something right now. <laughs> hey, what? That's fire. Yo, let's Oh, that, that's sick. That's sick. Good choice. Yo. What's up? What's up, boys? Whoa, what's going on with the vest? We on a mission? Yeah, to take care of some business. What's up, boys? How's it going? Good, good, good. What is going on here, Dari? We weren't expecting this. A G-Wagon? This is like the newest G-Wagon, right? Yeah, guys, so this is actually the brand new 2023 Mercedes-Benz G63 AMG. Most of you guys know it as the G-Wagon. Uh, it's a 4.0 liter V8 twin turbo engine straight from Germany. How much horsepower? Uh, 577 horsepower, oh. zero to 60 in about 3.9 seconds. Dang, oh, in, a, in a big truck like this weighing over close to 6,000 pounds, I believe. Yeah. Yo, yeah. We can hear Just this about, all the way from back about. there, Dari. It's really? loud. Yeah, it's a loud car. Thanks. I put it in sport plus mode for you guys. Uh, it's a nine speed. As you know, you may have seen me. I had the Matt Gray factory G-Wagon for a little bit. That was actually a 2020. I wanted to test the waters with it, see how I felt. The twins had a G-Wagon in the past and I loved it from the moment they had it. Uh, super beautiful vehicle, timeless. Don't get me wrong, I still love BMW. The X5M Comp was an amazing, amazing SUV, sports Yo, utility vehicle. We're Beamer bros. I know. <laughs> Yo, you still got the uh, X6M. Yeah, we still got the competition X6M right there. Yeah. Uh, we do still have a beautiful BMW in the fleet, which is amazing, Cyrus. I'm glad you still have that one. It's the ultimate spec I wanted. The Magno, the matte black with the red guts. Red this guts? is not wrapped? No, this is all factory. Everything. Oh, got the red guts? Yep. Big ball on Yep, everything factory. It's fresh. Yeah, but that is not just the only reason why I got it. This is the last V8 twin turbo G Wagon they're coming out with before they go all electric. Oh, the last of its kind. Yep. How do you guys feel about that? Cars going all electric and, and hybrid and stuff like that. Like, obviously, it's good for the environment and stuff. Mm -hmm. Do you think cars lose something for doing that? Like, I guess character wise, or do you think it's the cars maintain that what what do you guys think uh, i feel like it depends on which car obviously like tesla is killing it with electric yeah. but to me seeing supercars going all electric maybe hybrid is different yeah but yeah, sure. a supercar is going all electric it kind of loses personality you know hearing the engine in the end in the back end hearing the v8s the v10s v12s like i'm gonna miss hearing those bro that's what makes a car a car it's like less alive right yeah but i'm not gonna lie a lot of these cars now are gonna be the last of its kind all full engine even the 750s all engine, that'll be the last McLaren that's just all engine. Revolto hybrid, you know? Nice choice, Tari. Yeah, nice. Check, check it out. out. I like this G-Wagon. Check it out. The carbon fiber from the gray one, I really love the carbon fiber features on the steering wheel, so I'm super happy this came with it. It's a lot of space in the trunk. I just love it. The exhaust, a lot of people said I should get a flame spitter exhaust on this. <laughs> but that's animated. I, mean, I don't know if that's going to affect your warranty or not. So I did get the wheel and tire protection because <laughs> these wheels are not cheap, guys. So, you know, if I take this thing off roading or let's say we do a tug of war challenge or something, I got to keep the wheels and tires protected. No, we should do that. We should do a tug of war. 
Seriously? Yeah, with the uh, with that Bronco and then the four by four. Oh, that'd be wild. A Mayoki vs. German. Let's see who's tougher. Like today? Hey, yo, yeah. we gotta put the car to the test, right? I know it's pretty fast, but let's see how strong it is, too. Yeah. Bring it on, Marcus. Start your car. Let's do it. We got a rope. We do got a rope. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Also, SUV gang, all black attack. This is so fresh. How much does the Bronco weigh? I'm actually not sure. How much does this car weigh? This car weighs about 5,900 pounds. Whoa, that's heavy. 5,900 pounds. Alright, line them up, line them up. V4 and plus V8. Alright, guys, we're gonna tie up the rope. Comment down below who you guys think is gonna win G Wagon versus the Bronco. Two beautiful cars. It's gonna be fun, I'm not gonna lie. The only thing I'm worried about is his tires. He's got good traction, but I do think the G-Wagon should take it. And if not, I'm gonna be returning it for a Bronco. Place your bets now, guys. Place your bets now. Marcus, don't let us down in the Bronco. I got it. We got the G-Wagon, G63 truck versus the Ford Bronco. Who's gonna pull who? Marcus! Yeah, he's been past the line. Done. It's done. The G-Wagon wins. Marcus, what happened? Bro. The G-Wagon has too much power. Get out of my face, bro. <laughs> I mean, maybe we can do a race in the, in the dirt? Yeah, let's do a race. Let's do a race. In the grass? Yeah. We'll let's do, do a race it. in the grass? Yeah, that's the only way. Let's do it. Let's line them up. Yo, Lucas. Yo. We gotta win this drag race. Huh? Yeah, I know we didn't win the tug of war, but I think we can win this one. We got the off-loading tires, so I think we have an advantage. All right, let's do it, bro. You guys ready? The finish line is all the way at Cyrus. He's right, standing right here. Ready, set, go! No! Oh my gosh, bro. Nah, we lost that one. We lost that one. Let's go. I said we run it back one more time though. Uh, 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 Two right, out of go. three. I guess that's what you pay for, right? The G Wagon AMG is 200K and the Bronco and the Bronco is 60K. So I guess that's what you pay for. G Wagon's a lot faster. The Bronco is. Well, I feel like I'm going to take him this one. You think so? Yeah. All right, let's see. Let's see what you got. All right, race number two. Ready, set, go. He lost again, bro. Oh, they're coming back. Go! <laughs> Yo, what are they doing, bro? Yeah. The G-Wagon is definitely faster. A lot faster. Maybe off-roading, if we went on the dirt, I'll beat him. It was a pretty good race, though. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. We got crazy races coming up. All right, we got the G-Wagon against the Razor. All right, honestly, I think the Razor's gonna win. I think the Razor's gonna win. It's gonna catch crazy traction, but we'll see who wins. All right, ready, set, go! Oh, it didn't catch traction. I was wrong. I was so wrong about that, bro. All right, here comes the Razor. Bro, what happened? He beat me. What? He beat me. Bro, the G-Wagon is winning everything today. It's insane. I, yo, this car has a lot better traction than I thought. But that thing is a lot of fun. Good race in the Bronco, too. That was a ton of fun. Wow, we got to see who's my next competitor. Off-roading, of course, because uh, on the street, this thing is a... Uh, this thing is a big body, so, you know, she's got a fat booty, I mean, but she'll do her thing off-road. Thank you guys so much for watching Dobra Cars. Make sure you smash that subscribe button, turn on those post notifications. We got a crazy lineup of cars coming that we're going to put to the test. Races, challenges, you name it. Thank you guys so much for your love and support. We wouldn't be here if it weren't for each and every one of you. Chase your dreams, guys. Never give up. You're not too young. Don't let anyone tell you you can't do something in life. God bless you. We'll see you guys next time here on Don't Break Cards.